Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fro, bringing us a brand new video here today. And um, today's video, you guys, is going to be more so um on how to get high kills in solos, how to drop or high or how to drop um as many possible kills in solos, the most efficient way to play solos, and just all around like how to win more solo games. Um, it's definitely it's been a request um a lot in my streams and. You know how can i how how can people you know get to that next level you know people are dropping 10 15 kills but they're dying to rats all the time or how can people get to the next the, you know their next pr in solos and so we're gonna take you know um you know we're gonna we're gonna look into this 30 kill game that i had with the amax and it was such a slow um slow start for me and um the lobby just died very very quickly but i was still somehow able to drop 30 kills and so this game um somebody in my chat um for this game gave me 50 gifted subs if i dropped 30 kills and that's why i was like okay i'm not gonna pay attention to chat i'm not gonna do anything and i'm gonna just go to town and so uh again today's video will be um yeah how to get better at solos and so i think for this specific game i actually did not land at hangers or sorry i did not land at super i landed at hangers now I want to make this very 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 clear you don't always have to drop at super to get like high kill games for me in solos i like to drop at hangers or i like like to drop um dealership i think dealership is a very very um underrated spot to land it there's a lot of money there and you have a car there to move forward and you know keep going so so me personally i always especially in trios or actually in solos duos trios and quads i land right where the spawn chest is I land right up top if i get a gun i can always um kill people that are going for the helis kill other people that are landing in and you know if all goes well you get an lmg maybe a c4 or even an rpg um in case there is a um people going for the heli in other game modes except for solos so i personally like to land up top i always grab a gun and start working my way inside here and i think the thing about solos you guys is i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly this guy says some pretty naughty things so I hear this guy down low underneath me. Pop my dead silence. Yeah, this guy right here, he said some pretty nasty stuff. So um, I heard this guy underneath me this whole time. And so <laughs> there's me shooting, shooting his body. But um, what bothers me about solos is that the loadouts are still $10,000. And it's $10,000 in duos, $10,000 in trios, and $10,000 in quads. To me, it just doesn't make any sense you know i would like to see maybe uh seven and a half k and then eight and a half k and then nine and a half k and then maybe 10k or something but um to me i feel like i definitely could have continued to get a lot more kills recently when i've been playing solos i've been dropping in grabbing a far maybe a secondary and hop in a vehicle and just keep going don't waste my time looting um don't waste my time you know looking for money when other people could potentially have that money and i'm getting more kills and so you know i really want to grab the best four loot which is a a far and you know wherever else you want to rock with either a sniper or another ar or a milano or whatever but the the ground loot is a little kind of uneven i would say right now so um so in solos you want to always make sure that you got cash flow you got bounties bounties definitely help um get get that money up always gives you direction you always 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 want to have direction right so in terms of direction you know uavs or bounties they're they're always gonna point you in the right direction you do never want to just start wandering around hoping you see somebody in the radar or hoping you see somebody so this guy was coming up the the quarter here this was a free kill got a lot of money for that loadout so this guy basically gave me the cash enough cash for the loadout. again if um I was I was a little bit quicker. I kept looting at hangers. If um if I were to change anything, I would most definitely just went and sprinted right to that bounty, hopped in the truck, and just went way faster than I was um to get uh towards people. So what I like to do in solos is I like to call in a UAV. If I have enough cash, I'm gonna call a UAV in first, especially if I'm especially if I'm getting a loadout at a different spot. This spot isn't really um that crazy, but if I were to get a loadout at like police or superstore or pretty much anywhere else and I have enough money for UAV, I always want to call UAV first. That way I know I can 
you know what direction i need to throw my loadout what direction um is the most safe for me to go so and plus it definitely gives you a lot of information of where you want to head to next so i got my loadout super super quick i'm using the amax and the mac 10 my go-to classes for high kill games um solos duos trios and quads um i think it's just my my best class right there so this kill gets unfortunately taken away from me i wasn't able to kill the other guy from um from behind and so i'm going to keep trying to um uh work these guys in the hangers now i don't have uav i have started using the heartbeat sensor which is very very um easy to use in solos i'm not very efficient with it yet just because i've always used stun grenades and so pushing into these hangers trying to look for this guy pop my dead silence just because i really want to um make sure i don't get shot from anywhere else most of this guy's in here make sure i get this kill get this finish bada boom bada bang notice there's a car pulling up i think i think this is the guy that says the the nasty language again that's why i haven't muted yeah it is so i killed this guy twice says some pretty nasty things man again back to the gameplay we have five kills 81 people left this is not a very healthy lobby man not a healthy lobby again like i said earlier i had um uh, a challenge to get 30 kills for 50 gifted subs or maybe six 60 gifted subs which is a lot of lot of subscribe uh, a lot of gifted subs so very generous um no thing for, for them to do so um i had this guy in my heartbeat i noticed that he wasn't anywhere so i was like okay he must have been flying that's all right that's okay i'm gonna hop in this van i believe and continue to roll forward i noticed that i have four thousand nine hundred dollars i want to go and make sure i get a uav uavs again you want to always have a uav going you always want to have a bounty going and you know there's 73 people left five kills this is a very very um dead game man there's just a lot of people dying and so i really want to you know go as fast as i can here break this guy's armor throw a nade hopefully he runs backward into the grenade i unfortunately didn't get it let me turn the volume on because we're good now so as i know i can hear this guy up top since i hear him up top i know exactly where to pre-fire also he probably hasn't full healed yet potentially has um three three plated up already but i can hear him go to the top of the stairs i have um seven power i want to make sure that i win this gunfight this is a very important gunfight so if you look at the minimap, I noticed that he's already up top, right above the stairs. And, you know, maybe a little pre-aim, a little pre-fire, bada boom, bada bing. I see that my threat is a th is a three. And I've noticed this guy's, um, pretty sure I've noticed that this guy's a pretty good player. Just the way this guy was moving around, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure that this guy was eliminated and got him out of my game. Because this guy could have been the guy that won super, could have been a really talented player. And just the way he was moving around, driving around, not a lot of super good players use um cars. So I wanted to make sure that I got this guy out of my lobby. I noticed this guy was missing a few shots. He probably can't see me very well. So I'm definitely going to put in some damage here. Maybe, um, I think, mount it up. So right here. So right here, if you guys take a look. Let me just back it up right here. Um, I made this guy weak, and so I put the airstrike. And so my plan and my goal was to pre-fire. So this, Because this guy had no time to heal. And so using the airstrike to push him off, to push him in a different direction, to make him visible to me... If all went well, I would have hit my shots, right? And if I hit my shots, he's dead just because the, you know, the airstrike got him to a position for me to shoot him, but I missed. <clears throat> Here comes the cluster. And if I, I literally completely, completely whipped. So <laughs> if I'm looking at the screen right now, I have $7,600 and I want to make sure that I, you know, again, I, I want to make sure that I have a uav going at all times i need some direction i should have went and grabbed one of those bounties a little bit quicker that way i get more cash flow and so i noticed that this guy is going to land back on his loot um at green i don't really like fighting inside the servos of green so i really wanted to just get rid of um this gunfight take care of this guy <clears throat> i got a trophy i always want to make sure you put your trophies on your vehicles just in case you never know what's rpg especially now a lot more people have been using rpgs hop in the car drive right towards where the guy you know where he landed which was green area and i literally thought he was green the whole time until he starts shooting at me here 
I challenged this just because he has to completely over P. And I almost died. I knew this guy was gonna be a good player just because you can just tell, man. You can just tell. I mean, most people don't even hop in. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm talking about it right now. You can just tell he's a really good player just because the way he was moving, he drove up in a car. He dra I was his bounty. And so this guy was, you could just tell this guy was a pretty good player. And so I wanted to make sure that he was out of my game as soon as possible. And he did come back on his loot, which I did see on the radar before. And so <clears throat> we are going to go and buy another UAV. I think my, a lot of my thought process around, um, not getting ghost right away since, um, since, um, there's a, there's a red dot already over there. I'm going to work towards that red dot. I leave the load out there most of the time just because I'm already moving around in a vehicle. So the only time that I really need ghosts is in like a gunfight. If some guy is using a heartbeat sensor right here, I sw I do a weapon sweep or weapon or sorry, Jesus. Um, I do a, a car swap. Not a lot of people in one v one gunfights really expect me to do this. They expect me to get out right behind the car. And so I break his armor and then I can get out and he just has no, he literally has no, no chance. And again, you guys, I have the, the audio muted just because um, there was a lot of nasty things being said in, in, in the game chat. So we're just not going to mess with that. <clears throat> so I'm already driving around in a car. There's no point in me getting ghosts at the moment. But now since the zone's going to start pushing out, you know, I'm just going to probably end up grabbing ghosts here shortly. Grab another bounty. I always have direction. I always have somewhere that you need to go. And we are going to, I think I'm going to buy another UAV or two. I already have self-res. And to me, a UAV is way more important to, um, to you than a self-res. So right there, I would, if I didn't have self-res and I still have 8,500, I would still buy two UAVs. Call one in, hold another one. Just because most of the time, and plus if you're rushing people and trying to go for a high kill game, you're going to be getting in their face. It's going to be a lot more close quarters gunfights probably. If you get knocked, you're pretty much dead already in solos. You're just toast. And so I just think UAVs are just way, way, way more important. It'd be kind of like a waste of money for most situations if you were to buy a self-res over a UAV. So I ended up finding one early in the game, which makes it a hell of a lot easier. So again, we have a bounty. We have some direction. Um, I got ghosts just because that loadout is going to be out of the next circle. So I'm going to continue to... Um, move forward, but now with Ghost. Again, like I was saying before, you don't necessarily need to grab Ghost right away because you are already driving around in a car. If you're driving around in a car, you, you're going to show up on the mini, um, the mini map already. So I think vehicles are very, very important, especially if you want to get some high kill games. I wish choppers were still in solos. I think there was a time where they were in solos for at least a little bit. And um, it was, it was fun, but I've been just a lot more comfortable with chopper. So this guy, I can't really seem to find. He's ghosted up. He misses quite a few bullets. I had a free, free kill here. <clears throat> grab some dead silence. Make sure I have dead silence. Make Grab all his money. I have $11,000. I'm going to go buy two UAVs. Call one in. Hold one. That way, you know, I have two. And if you guys actually didn't know about this, when you guys go to a buy station, if you're on mouse and keyboard for a quick, quick, quick buy, all you got to do is click like UAV, hit W, which it will select yes, and then hit space bar and it will confirm it. You make sure you're not using your mouse or else it just won't work because it like it moves around the selecting stuff. But again, if you, um, if you click like UAV or buy back, hit W and then hit space bar, you can actually do it very, very, very fast. Similar to how controller does it. I see this guy was peeking me. I think he had ghosts, but I was able to kill this guy. There are, th I have 13 kills and there are 32 people left. I am shocked that I dropped the 30 kill game here because this lobby is extremely dead. Second circle, 31 people left. It's not a healthy lobby at all. <clears throat> so that was a kill. Kill this guy out of a car. Let me show you guys um, a little positioning that I put myself with my car. Um, If you guys notice... I turn this car this way. If you guys notice, I turn this car this way. That way, I don't have to like... That way, it puts me in a better position to either one, hop in my car, two, jump behind my car if I need to. But always putting yourself on the right side of the car or like in the in the better angle for yourself when, you, when you're driving, if you're going to get out. So I already know that I'm going to get out on this 
you know, on the on the driver's side, I just want to put myself in a better position, um, you know, for less chance of me dying. So <clears throat> if you like um back up a little bit, you guys can notice that I do that with vehicles all the time. It's just you know, you spin around, um, especially vans, you can always head glitch them. I actually don't have a trophy system. I probably should have grabbed that van right there, but this car is pretty good shape. Pop a UAV. If I was smart, I would have grabbed this bounty that's near hospital, but I was in a super, 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 um, I was in a rush, man. I was in a hurry, but it would have been beneficial for me to grab that bounty just so it pings somebody. But since I already have $12,000, I can already buy a lot of UAVs. You know, we're just, uh, we're just going to keep moving. I know it's people over here on the radar. People are shooting. I got to make sure I peek my top so I don't get screwed. I see two people on the radar. I'm going to pop my daddy. Push forward. Make sure I get this first kill because I know he's camped in this corner. The door is closed, so I'm going to peek this close left. And I know for a fact that somebody's in, the, in this corner. Bada boom, bada bang. Slide in there. You know, catch him unexpected. And um, very, very easy gunfights, especially if you have dead silence. That means you should get, you know, the first few shots just because people don't hear you. So, super, super easy. I have a lot of money, a lot of cash flow. But grab a UAV, buy it. Or, sorry, buy UAV, pop it, hold on to another one. I found, you know, some stopping power, which is always, always, always very useful. Of course, one of the most broken things in Warzone, in my opinion. I noticed there's a lot of pings over here at um, Stadium. I, feel, I noticed that there's a few ghosters. <clears throat> so, we're just going to push forward towards the... Um, Towards the uh, the stadium, I have a heartbeat sensor here. I'm gonna check to see where this guy's at. Make sure I approach this gunfight. Smart sliding downstairs is not very very smart. I thought this guy would be spraying around. Saw the tip of his head right here. Should be a free free kill. Again, since I'm in a rush and I already have a lot of money, I definitely I I guess I don't really I need. Some very naughty things, bro. Invited me. I guess I don't need to grab those bounties just because it's more of out of my way than not. But then again, if you guys look at the mini map, there are no pings. So me grabbing a bounty would probably be a super, super smart decision right now, just because I'm not getting any pings on the radar, but the bounty would most definitely ping to somebody else. So I noticed this guy up top hospital or top stadium shooting at me. This guy should hundred percent killed me. I just put myself in a really bad position, but again, I just was full setting. I wanted to get these kills. So, we're just going to keep challenging on these gunfights. If I die, I die. If I don't, I don't. Because I still have Gulag as well. <clears throat> I still have 18k. Going to make sure, you know, I get some UAVs rolling. Buy one. Pop it. Do another one. Make sure I hang on to it. I noticed a few pings. Up towards um the white tents area. In um So... What I recommend for solos and any other game mode, really, if you want to drop high kills, if you see one dot over here, but you see two dots over here, like you don't want those people to fight. You want all the kills that you could possibly get. So we're going to leave the solo dot on the mini map alone. And we're going to push up and see if we can get both of these kills. See if we can third party and get both of the kills because we want all the kills. And so the solo dot ain't going to find anybody. He's just going to be by himself still, you know, alone while these other guys have, have the potential of fighting each other <clears throat> so i put i use this car put myself in a better position let me just back it up here for a second i know this guy's up here on the mini map i'm gonna use my car and push up um near this wall so i can head glitch the wall i don't want to put myself in a bad position so i pop my uav seat swap pop my uav i drop drive up close to the wall so he doesn't have an opportunity to fry me this guy's still looking at my car he literally has no idea that i got out in bada boom bada bang like it's nothing we're gonna drop him up the tower what a fucking bot i'm sorry that was toxic if you guys notice is that um earlier on my orange ping right here i'm gonna back i'm gonna back up a little bit i pinged right there in um in the town and so that way i know exactly where that guy or in the general area that that guy is and so after i get this kill i actually have some direction. I'm going to go towards this ping. So there's a guy in this building. And there's also going to be a guy, I believe, that pulls up in a truck. I don't remember. So I'm like, wait, is this guy still here? He might not be here. He could have died. Whatever. But I see this truck blowing up. 
it's like hmm is it worth me trying to fight this truck if this guy got out then it would have been an easy easy gunfight um i saw flames coming off the truck and i'm like well this could be you know if it's very very weak um maybe i just shoot a full bullet or shoot shoot a few bullets if it disables the vehicle perfect that puts me in a in a good spot just to get that kill this guy drives off he, he's probably just gonna keep on driving so i think i just leave him be and i'm gonna go back and see if there's this guy over here and would you take a look this guy is literally camping in the same exact spot that i pinged and so i see him as i drive up easily shoot him and you know just simple put some shots in the truck makes my job a little bit easier for later if i need to disable it because solos are bertha it's a bertha meta man if you hop in a bertha it's very very um easy to 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 get kills to drive people over and it, um it's it's kind of broken i think berthas are extremely broken especially the hitbox um in the back of the of the truck so berthas are extremely extremely broken especially in solos just because they take you know they take a lot of damage so <clears throat> if you were to want to um get some high kills i think using a bertha is extremely extremely like a really good idea it's extremely valuable to use berthas and keep those berthas alive i think i had an end game the other day when there was like six berthas and people just driving around like you don't I mean you don't need anything so this guy right here i had a ping on it wasn't sure where this guy was going i think i saw him in the bottom right here peek out a little bit Yep, right there. He's wearing that white, I think, CDL skin. And so this fight was really weird, man. I had Sappy Power, so I was playing this a little bit confident. I just didn't know where this guy was going to go. And this guy made a really, really good play by crossing into this, in this left corner. But he he choked it. He choked it. Thank God I had Sappy Power because I probably would not have won that gunfight. I literally had one HP. So he's using some dual pistols or something like that for Ghost, probably. But... It was an extremely close gunfight. It was very too close for comfort. And I, if I were to approach that situation different, um, I probably would have just, I don't know, cleared the corners. I just didn't see him crossing that thing. So I thought he was just camping behind the box or he went to the back door or something. And so just taking my time, I think, a little bit with, with that building would have been a little bit more um, useful. Or, you know, take my time, but also clear every corner, right? Maybe go on the right side of the building and look into that angle just to clear the angle because solos is ratty man people are ratting around all the time if you guys notice i don't push into buildings man i don't go search for people in these buildings and the reason why i do that is because you just don't know what's going to happen is there going to be claymores is there going to be bouncing betty's is there just me people holding a weird angle so right here i take the high ground on this fight i noticed this guy's one shot i should never have thrown a grenade right there i didn't think he was going to keep challenging me he has nowhere to go so of course he has to challenge me so if I were to redo this gunfight, I would just keep shooting. There's no point in me throwing a grenade out because he could have easily killed me when I had that grenade out, right? Which he almost did. And that would have been the end of an extremely, um, extremely good game. <clears throat> I know people are over here on this orange ping. I actually hit, I actually hit this guy on the orange ping with like a really cool and really good angle. This guy had no idea. I noticed he's on top of the roof. I'm kind of got out of my car so he would peek me so i could fry him but he just never peeked me so i kept moving forward i have no money for any more uavs so getting these kills is very very important again that comes back to like i should have had or grabbed more bounties but i still had a lot of money every time there's a bounty i had like 12 to 18k so so i know this guy's on the roof and there's an easy easy angle to look at people on this roof so you can hop on this wall hop on top of this roof and you should be able to see all this rooftop. And this guy's just proned out right underneath the stair or right above the stairs. And he was so bad. He was so bad. <laughs> I got shot from behind, so I want to use. I think I got shot behind. Yep. I'm just not sure where I got shot at. So I got shot from the northeast direction. Have no idea. So I'm going to keep hag glitching. Keep trying to figure out where I got shot from. I literally had no idea. And so right here, this is what the conversation comes down to. How to avoid these rats. I just didn't push these buildings. I just didn't go towards these buildings because I don't want to lose this game or lose a just a gunfight that I know that I shouldn't lose. And so I'm just going to leave those buildings. I'm just not going to push those buildings. I'm going to take maybe one glance and see if I see them any windows or like free kills. But I just don't know where he is or I don't know which building that he's ratting it up in. And so 
pushing that is just not a good idea. It's just not a good idea. And so I did one one quick look. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm out of here, dude. I'm I'm leaving this dude. I am not forcing that gunfight, which he is in the advantage of. And I think trying to weigh your um your advantages and disadvantages, like me pushing into those buildings is a disadvantage. And I do not want to do that. I do not want to push into a disadvantage disadvantage gunfight. It just wouldn't be smart for me. And so again, you see another Bertha driving around. I'm trying to figure out where everybody's at. <clears throat> this guy isn't going to get out because he's been in the birth all game. I, see, I noticed a guy up top of the hill by the windmill. He's going to run around the corner. I'm going to just get high ground, hit him with the RKO, the people's elbow, the Kurt Angle ankle lock. Bada boom, bada bing. <clears throat> Again, hop back in Bertha. I have 25 kills, so I need five of the six people. And I noticed two people are fighting right here. And so I instantly got out and I instantly challenged just because I got to. This guy's stopping power, so I'm literally one shot. And now I know that there's at least one more guy down there. So I want to take this fight nice and slow. I was debating if I wanted to use Bertha and push towards that fight. Or since I noticed I have a nade, I have tacticals or lethals. And an airstrike sometimes just works through buildings and through walls. And so I was playing playing a little bit more of a safer gunfight here because <clears throat> I just really don't want to die since Gulag is closed since it's not you know it's a weird weird fight so I use my nade here clear it out maybe get a hit marker now I'm in the advantage I notice he's out here bada boom bada bang this should be an easy fight for me even if he has stopping power which he did so both those guys had stopping power and I don't know how neither one of them didn't um didn't kill each other but <clears throat> I really wanted to grab um, Bertha here. Did I end up going back up and do it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so Bertha would have been slow to get out. So I just grabbed the van. Still using a vehicle end game is very, very important. You can, you just see, you just see so much, man. You can you, look at it. You have visuals over everything and everybody just because of the third, um, the third person spectating. I need three of the four. So I need three of the four people for this 30 bomb. And so I'm like, oh shit, bro. I'm at, at this point, since it's a challenge, I just gotta rush people, man. I gotta go, dude. I'm trying to take like a an easy route here. This guy is shooting at me. I challenge this fight. I prop just kind of a weird fight that I really didn't need to. Fuck this guy's ankles real quick. Now I notice I'm I'm good for a second here. I wanna hop back in Bertha. Again, hopping back in Bertha is extremely, extremely powerful. It's very, very it's a very safe play just because it's very hard to get fried out of Bertha. This gunfight was kind of weird. Should have been an easy kill. I was really nervous about getting third party, but the last player in the lobby. So I got to make sure I heal up before I push for this kill because he could have been in that building. He could have been in the other building. And um, yeah, so now it's a 1v1 situation. I need one more kill for the 30 bomb. <clears throat> I noticed that I shouldn't hop in Bertha just because. Um, So I just saw him right here, actually. So there's a precision and it will take me like two, three seconds, four seconds to move Bertha out of the, where the position is. And so precisions are weird. Sometimes they come from random ass angles. And so your best bet is just to, just to move as far away as fast as possible. <clears throat> and so it might be hard to see, but I saw this guy deep all the way across, like right over here, as I was pushing towards this. So I just saw him right there. <clears throat> and I had no idea where he called this precision airstrike from no idea and so right here as i peek i see him back by the bushes i put some shots in maybe i can get some shots yep hit him probably hit him once or twice so that's a few plates or i'll play it off and if you guys remember the angle that i used earlier i could be on top of this rooftop so this angle is extremely, extremely important if you look at the circle he's gonna have to push in this guy has no idea there's no way he will expect me to do that i use the airstrike to push him out of his rat's nest bada boom bada bang like it's nothing and that's a free kill. And so one of the biggest things that I have for solos, again, UAVs, bounties, you don't have to land at Superstore to have high kill games. This game was extremely, extremely dead. Second circle, there are 30 people left, but you just don't know how the end of the game is going to play out. You just don't know if people are going to camp, if people are going to get more kills and stuff like that. And so just just believe in the lobby i guess you know and you don't have to drop super to get high kills use vehicles use um um airstrikes 
use um whatever you have utilities and stuff to get people out of the rat's nests you see like i use airstrike right there he moved out of his spot so i have a free angle and a free shot to you know to hopefully knock this guy down to hopefully get this killed which i did <clears throat> so if you guys watch this i hope it helped i really really do hope it helped if you guys have any questions um about solos specific specifically make sure you guys um comments down low like any question literally we have we, i reply to pretty much every single comment um on our on our channel so again let me know if you have any questions any specific questions um just literally anything and i hope you guys enjoyed this maybe i plan on doing this for duos trios and maybe quads as well but we've had a lot of requests doing specific um breakdowns commentaries and stuff like that why i decided to do this why i decided to do that and and like how to get more kills how do you get to the next level how do i go from 15 to 20 how do i go from 20 to 30 kills and you know it really comes down to you breaking down your own gameplay and figuring out what you could have done different if i could have done anything different i would have definitely grabbed more bounties the lobby was kind of dead but i already should have kept moving forward at the beginning instead of looting for two minutes for cash i should have sprinted and got the bounty right away used the ground loot and kill people let the other people do the looting for me and then i can get the load out but yeah but i think this was an extremely good game and it shows you that you can still drop high kills even if the lobby is dead because you just don't know how the rest of the lobby is going to play out so again leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up if you guys thought there was some valuable content in this video for you and if you learned something um make sure you um subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already you know to find your way back make sure you guys turn notifications on again thank you guys very much for all the love on the channel we are very very close to hitting 20,000 subscribers and we're gonna keep on moving we're gonna keep on pushing so thanks again hope you guys have a great day hope you guys enjoy the video we'll see you guys in the next one